Hey guys, so today I am doing a review on the Gardevoir Kratos statue from Slideshow Collectibles. Now this is a very rare statue. I do know that Slideshow Collectibles has all kinds of statues, Marvel, you know, from, you know, comic books to movies to, you know, video games, you, you name it, they got it. This is actually one that actually really caught my eye. I'm a really big, huge fan of God of War. Thumbs up if you like God of War. Um, but I'm going to start off with the box first, then go to the statue and just kind of tell you what I like and don't like about it. Um, there is a couple of things that I wish they would have done a little bit more better work, but we'll get into that later on. So here is the very first part of the box. And here it's going to tell, it's uh, basically Kratos himself just standing right there. Of course, it's God of War. And then Kratos statue. And I did get the exclusive um, edition. I'm going to tell you about the difference but as I go into the box. It's Slideshow Collectibles. Now this is his part from God of War Part 3. Um, this is the eye. Just kind of a cut off part of his face. So it's pretty cool. I do have a poster about that. If you want to review, just comment below and let me know. As we turn to the side, I really do like this. Just how it's kind of pushed in. It's kind of faded, you know, it kind of re represents of the ashes that are on him. So it kind of just represents the ashes and it just kind of has God of War there. It brings out the God of War, but then kind of sticks with the storyline of what's going on on the box. And then here is the back. Basically, it's the statue. This is the non-exclusive edition. This is what I was telling you about at the beginning. Um, this is basically, it just comes with the Blades of Exile. Okay, so it doesn't come with the other set, which we would get into. Um, and then here just gives you a brief bio or a summary of who Kratos is, what happened, and kind of where he come from, and what is his whole purpose. Um, I like here how they just also just embroidered the PlayStation here. Just big PlayStation fan, you Xbox fans, I'm sorry, but gotta stick with PlayStation. And just got a board here, and again it's just a full length of the statue and how he's gonna look once you assemble him together. Again, here comes again just Kratos there in the shadow with the ashes and kind of just him looking down and just kind of making decisions and um it's basically just a grayed out photo of the statue of how he is um as a standee again it's just basically him in the ashes just kind of i just like how it's not so much color it's grayed out it kind of brings that old-fashioned type look to it so it's not too uh too bad so there you go again there's the box very front with the uh, part three um, I, the full Kratos, the uh, official licensed product because he is from PlayStation, and um, the gold assemble here. Now here it tells you which number uh, it is. So which the number I got was 286 of 550 worldwide made. So all of this is basically I got number 286, which is a pretty good low number. Not too bad. So uh, out of 550, I think I got a pretty good number there. Um, here, I know you guys really don't care too much about the styrofoam, but the reason why I so like the styrofoam is just how it's embroidered with the Sideshow Collectibles. It kind of just gives you that embrosion there in the styrofoam. That way it's not just styrofoam that you throw in the trash or that you pick up at your packing facilities or anything like that. So this kind of just has it embroidered. Um, as you can see, I already have him taken out just because he is a little bit of a trouble to take out. And then you want to be very careful with something like this. You don't want to cause any cracks or knits or bins or broken things so as we go into here here is kratos here is just basically i love that it's so much detailed now again let's go to the thing where i was telling you guys that there is a couple of things that i don't like and it's basically if you could see right here his chains they look a little bit like faded or plastic or like they're just rushed and painted on i, I know that when you want something that's be specific detailed it just looks like later on I might have to just get like a paintbrush and kind of just repaint them on. Here I like how he has his uh, belt, how his uh, his thing here right here, it's got little knits and tears where it looks like it's been worn out and damaged. Um, I really like this. Um, it looks like it's basically rubber and it's so much detail here to where I would think that it would move but they don't move but if they moved I thought I'd, I, I think I would kind of like that but I just like how it just feels like they're just hanging there like they're rubber or like leather like real leather but they're not it's just basically ceramic but it does the texture of it and the detail of it does look like it's real real leather I like how they have the details of his veins coming out and the scars that he has from battle 
and just how he's got, you know, the scarring of his eye, which is my favorite, which is just so much detail in his face and, you know, the wrinkles and the top of his chin. When you play the game, you could see all these details, so it's very, you know, exciting to know that they it added that into the, the statue. Let's go around to the back. So on the back here, you can see how he's, he's, he's got a skull back here. Again, let's go back to these leathers, to his kilt. It's all torn up. It's got holes in it because it's so worn out and from battle. It just looks like, you know, the the, the thorns or the spikes here behind his his boots or sandals. I, I mean, I could just say the shoes. But they're so, like, pointed. Like, you could actually feel the point. Like, if I would bump into it, I honestly think that it would hurt. And then, um... Another thing that really caught my attention with detail is his toes. I know it's kind of weird, you know, what, what do you care about Kratos' toes? But they're so detailed, you could tell between the lines of his toes and the, the toenail and, you know, they're neatly just kind of just detailed in there. I like how he's just, how they have him standing on Olympic rock here. It looks like it used to be a statue or a building that he's standing on. You have the God of War symbol here. It's, it's, it, and it's chained up all around the, uh, the, sta the stand that he's standing on. Also, the texture back here of the rocks, it kind of does feel like dirt or rocks. Like he is standing on the dirt and the rocks because it's just so rough. It's rough, but I like it. I like how they, how they did that. Again, there's the skull, and as we continue with the chains and the cracks of the statue that he's standing on, it's got little nits in here. The paint is just amazing. And um, I like the, just how how they put in so much detail with this. Now, it, this being the exclusive edition, you can switch his his swords from the the uh, from the. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this in. I always want to be very careful with this. The hells of uh, I guess it, I guess there's a. A certain side, yeah. There's a left hand and a right side. The Claws of Hades, and to switch them out from the the Blades of Exile to the Claws of Hades. And that, I really like the Claws of Hades. The only thing is, is see how it's kind of loose. I'd be scared that it, if I bumped into it, it would come off. But I mean, I just these as well are very just pointed and detailed. And I mean, these are actually my favorite um, knives that he's got. You know that he's. He, as to the, I know I like the the Blades of Exile because it's classic Kratos. I mean, that's just classic Kratos right there. How could you not like the, bla bla the Blades of Exile? I actually wanted to get some. I think it was on Amazon or eBay where they're actually the real ones. And you can you can buy them and stand them in your, like a shrine or something that you've got. Um, but I do like the... Uh, the Blades of Exile, they're actually my pretty much my favorite. I just don't put them on as much because I'm afraid that if I do bump into them, um, they're going to uh, fall off. So here we're going to take him and we're going to release him. And we're going to, I'm going to go to the bottom because this is also another favorite part of mine. Is the bottom of the statue. You see how it says here? It's got Slideshow Collectibles, Slideshow Exclusive, God of War, Kratos Statue. PlayStation, PlayStation, right there, thumbs up. Number 286 of 550 made worldwide. I like how it's red, because again, it sticks with the scarring and the paint of him. It's the red, the, the, you know, it's like a burgundy-ish red. As well as the little um, nits here where if you do place it somewhere, you don't have to worry about it sliding or putting it down. You know, it's going to slide off. You're going to bump into it and it's going to be sliding all over. You know, sometimes when you put a plate, it's like... Back and forth, back and forth. Here, it just stands firm. And uh, again, I like how they put his face on it. I mean, it's pretty, pretty cool how they just have his face there, like that. You know, so it's pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much what I got to say about that. Um, like I said, it's one of my favorite statues and probably the only one that I got so far. But um, there's a couple of them that I see that I, I want to get into, like. There's Mary Jane with Spider-Man where she's wearing his Spidey outfit. She's doing a little cute pose and everything. That's really cool. I mean, I wouldn't mind having that as well and doing a review on that. Um, there's also um, ones from Mortal Kombat. I mean, I'm pretty good, you know. So they have quite a few of them, but hopefully I can get that uh, Mary Jane with Spider-Man's outfit. You know, she's like, oh, slept over and borrowed his outfit, you know. But hope you guys like this review. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful to you guys. 
makes you guys want to go look into getting some, you know, anything, um, you know, you know take, a, take, a, take a look, take a look at Sizeful Collectibles, see what they have to offer. And um, thanks you guys for watching. Bye.